morning and welcome to Wild Plum Farms. This morning, I had to get up a bit early. Yeah, Mother Nature decided to have one last hoorah with us. Oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, that's really not good. Um, so we had about a foot of snow come on. About four inches more than they anticipated. Excuse me, Stella. Come on. Okay, excuse me, kitty. She's in heat. I gotta get out here with some sort of shovel. I really don't know. Um, well, I'm gonna start up this morning, bring you guys along for the ride. I'm gonna be moving fairly quick, but good morning. Welcome to winter in Wisconsin, and <laughs> here we go. So, just this is how deep it is out here, and I have to pull it because we don't have any frost in the ground. The ground's not froze at all, so if I push with the back blade like it normally would, and use the cutting edge, they'd cut the dirt up, driveway up, everything. So, I'm just gonna bring you guys along and see how this goes.
there about an hour later i'm done um did have a few hiccups one is the snow is so oh here i'll show you it, it's this is ridiculous the snow is so heavy i mean it packs that's honestly i kind of wish i had a snowblower at that point for the back end of this thing because it would go so much smoother with this but i digress very happy and blessed the fact that i even have this thing because otherwise clear the driveway with that little thing right there <laughs> you guys okay um so yeah clearing the driveway with that little buddy right there granted you with this thing takes off you have to run behind it um that's when it's in fifth gear and that's what it tends to like to travel in even for snow blowing i'll have to get home tonight and do a little bit of snow blowing to to make some pads like out to the chicken coop out to the boiler uh, even though, granted, the next today, and tomorrow, and this weekend, and next week are all supposed to be in the 40s. So, it's going to be, I mean, this is going to be gone here in about a week. It's still real pretty, though. This is the, one of the first real snowfalls we've had all winter. But... I'll show you guys here the driveway and show you why it takes me so long other than the fact that it's wet and heavy oh i did mention this time i didn't lose the bucket at all this plowing session even with slamming into snow banks however i lost the two pins that uh prevent my three point here from sloshing side to side <laughs> I lost those at some point, whether they sheared off or they came undone and broke off or whatever. I don't know. I'll show you guys the driveway here in a second. There we go. That's the driveway. Obviously, that's the giant hole I dug. I just found the snow up over there. It's going to drain into that hole anyways. And then I have to clear out up there. That gets done up a different way every time. But uh, yeah, with the back blade... With the three point and missing those bolts, it's um kind of hard to plow. And also the fact that the ground isn't frozen, it's really hard to plow because it, uh, it, yeah, it makes it really difficult. But there you go, guys. What a, well, what a typical winter looks like here in Wisconsin actually I would probably have more than a foot of snow and that's what fell is over a foot of snow but I digress all right guys hope you enjoyed this short little video uh if you guys really want to see me plow um just let me know leave a comment like subscribe every little subscription helps because once we get monetized we uh we put every little bit that we make off of YouTube back into the farm it helps with little things. I want to see if I can catch this big chunk of snow sliding off the barn roof here, maybe. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.